Be honest, would you consider yourself to be a good online learner? For some of us, online learning, especially in nursing school, doesn't come so easy. We've all been forced to adapt to the new reality of online teaching and learning, so knowing how to maximize your learning in an online environment will be key to your success in nursing school. In today's video, I'm unlocking some key strategies to help you become an effective and efficient online learner. Stay tuned in. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Since March 2020, many nursing programs have pivoted to using online learning, and it's here to stay. So as students, you've got to learn how to become an online learner and enhance the online learning experience. So today, I want to share my professor-approved tips to help you become an effective and efficient online learner. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you're probably going to want to invest in some decent technology that will last you the next few years. Now, I understand that everyone is working with different price points and all, but trust me, it will save you both time and money if you buy quality technology or quality tech essentials that fall within your budget. Some nursing programs may be 100% online or only a portion of the program is online. Regardless, some tech essentials that you'll want to have ahead of time are things like a laptop with all the appropriate programs installed, a printer, a set of headphones, maybe a mouse and a mouse pad, and even invest in some lighting because classes may go into the evenings. And if you live in Canada like I do, daylight doesn't quite last very long, especially during the winter months. You might even consider buying these items used. You can always go on social media platforms to do this. You might want to check out some retail stores that sell used or refurbished items. In Canada, stores like Best Buy or Factory Direct and even Walmart all sell refurbished or open box items. I know for me, I love deals. And if I can save a few bucks here and there, I'm all for it. So if you want to find decent technology and don't want to pay full price, then take the time to do the extra research to save a bit on cash. While we're on the topic of technology, let's talk about cameras. From a professor's perspective, it can really be daunting to be talking to a sea of black squares during a Zoom class. So whether you have a built-in laptop camera or a fancy HD computer camera, I'd recommend that you turn your camera on when you're attending live classes. Yes, I said, turn your camera on. Now, I know it may seem awkward or uncomfortable at first, or you might be a little self-conscious because you didn't brush your hair or put on your mascara for the day. That's okay, I get that. But there are benefits to making a cameo during class. Number one, it forces you to keep engaged because now you know everyone can see you, so you're not tempted to go checking your phone or doing something that you're not supposed to be doing while everyone is watching you. Number two, it can help build trust and a sense of identification with other students when they can actually see you. And if you're concerned about the pile of laundry in the back or you're worried about family making an appearance or embarrassing you, just blur out the background and find a virtual background so others don't know what's going on behind you. Personally, when I'm teaching online or participating in a virtual call with others, I don't worry about my space looking Instagram perfect because sometimes those fun and silly and unexpected moments or uninvited guests means that we get to laugh and we see the real us. And sometimes we all need that reminder that not everything needs to be so serious all the time. Now, you may have some courses that might have a camera policy, which requires students to keep their cameras on during class. Whether or not this is the case, every day you have a virtual learning, I suggest you prepare your mind in advance and know that you've gotta be on set and camera ready 
That way, you'll make a tiny bit more effort to freshen up, dress appropriately, and engage in your online learning. Staying focused by minimizing distractions is difficult to do, period. There are so many distractions that are vying for your attention. Things like social media, texting, television, and family, which all pull your attention away from the task at hand and diminish your productivity. Your phone's pinging every five minutes with new notifications, or family members are knocking on your door to ask you a question every half an hour, or you find yourself browsing the internet aimlessly. So here are a few things you can implement to minimize those distractions. Number one, turn off notifications or keep your phone on silent so you're not tempted to check it. I know firsthand that this works because if you don't see it or hear it, you're less tempted to pick it up. Number two, if you attend your online classes while at home, then you need to establish boundaries and make sure everyone in your family or those who live with you understand which disruptions are acceptable and which ones need to wait. Example, I put a DND sign on my office door to remind my four-year-old and my two-year-old daughters that they're not to come in while I'm in a meeting. Now, that doesn't prevent them from knocking on my door and peering through the little window and making tons of noise in the background, but it helps. This is also really important if you plan to take an exam online or at home. If you definitely don't want to have to be interrupted with loud music or unexpected guests, communicate that with the people you live with beforehand. You may have kids to pick up or dinner to prepare or groceries to do or even a job that you need to get to after class. Sometimes having the peace of mind that those responsibilities are taken care of can help you remain focused on the task in front of you. So you may want to consider talking to your family about sharing or distributing household responsibilities. Learning is not meant to be a spectator sport. In other words, don't sit on the sidelines and simply watch your online classes like you would watch your favorite TV series. As an online student, you got to ask yourself whether you want to be a spectator or a participant. I mean, it's easy to simply turn on your computer, log into your class, and just watch and listen. But learning doesn't always work that way. If you really want to maximize your learning online, you've got to get involved and participate. What does this look like as a student? Well, it could be answering questions posed by the professor, uh, contributing to online discussions or chats, completing polls, or contributing to class group activities. Now think about your own physical body and when you go to the gym, for example. Does your body become more lean and strong when you go to the gym and simply watch others exercise? No, you have to get up, you have to get active, get your body moving if you wanna see results. And it's no different when you attend online classes. Becoming an effective online learner can really make or break your experience and success in nursing school. As much as we'd prefer to be in person, online learning is here to stay. So it's important that you invest the right technology, keep the camera on, minimize your distractions, and be an active participant in your learning. There are more tips that I can get into, but not enough time in this video. So if you want me to share even more ways to be a successful online student, comment below or share your suggestions and I'll create more content like this just for you. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you, like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend, because it's just like that.